couple of years ago on Abracadabra, we did an episode called Duplicate Mike, where Mr. Oops creates an invention that can duplicate things. Unbeknownst to everyone else, Nastini comes along and duplicates Mike. <laughs> Hello, who are you? <laughs> this is perfect! He, he takes the Duplicate Mike and tells him that chocolate is good for everyone. And so Duplicate Mike goes around trying to get everyone to eat chocolate. This was a difficult episode to produce, took a very long time because it had to be done on green screen and uh, involved multiple takes. So we felt it would be fun to um, show you how it was produced. What you're going to see at the beginning is the final scene showing everything put together. Let's watch. My magic invention in your shop. Very strange. But instead of transporting an object from one location to another, it duplicated it. Uh, sort of. Sort of? Well, every object or person is unique. So, a duplicate is never exactly like the original. Mike, are you okay? Huh? You need some help, Mike. And we're going to help you. We'll get you whatever you need. Everything is going to be all right. We are taking you to the doctor, matey. Doctor? Oops, uh, Michael, are you unwell? Yes, he is. See, he says that chocolates are good for you. What? what? What is going on? It's Mike. He's not acting himself. That's too bad. Ah! Look, it's another Mike. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oops! Shiver me timbers, Mike! You're in two places at once! How can that be? He looks like me. I can't believe it. He looks just like me. No, you look just like me. Okay, so let's see how we uh, were able to do that. The, the first uh, scene that we're going to come across is uh, Mike and Mr. Oops uh, walking down the street on a green screen. So let's watch that part. Mike, are you okay? Huh? You need some help, Mike, and we're going to help you. We'll get you. In order to do this scene, I had to record Duplicate Mike's voice ahead of time so that the characters could react to seeing Duplicate Mike in the scene, even though he wasn't there. What is going on? It's Mike. He's not acting himself. That's too bad. Ah! Look, it's another Mike! <laughs> now we recorded the scene again, but this time I was dressed as Duplicate Mike and came into the scene so that the characters could again react. What is going on? It's Mike. He's not acting himself. That's too bad. Ah! Look, it's another Mike. <laughs> now, let's put those two scenes together so you can see how they blend. And we're going to help you. We'll get you whatever you need. So what you want to notice uh, in this part of the scene is that everything is lit the same. Uh, if you look at the green floor, it's pretty even, and the background is pretty even as well. See, he says that chocolate... Professor Science starts to move over to um, the other side with Mike and the Apple Kit. And then when we come back to the scene, notice that you have both uh, shots in there, both the shot of real mic and duplicate mic and you can tell this by looking at the green screen floor you can see that the bottom of the green screen floor is darker on the left than it was on the right you're in two places at once how can that be he looks like me in order to shoot uh, the two mics mirroring uh, each other's movements um, we started out with mike 
by himself. I can't believe it. He looks just like me. No, you look just like me. Doing the choreography for each of the movements and looking as if he was talking to duplicate Mike. We shoot it again, but this time uh, with the duplicate mic facing uh, the opposite direction. And in order to shoot this, uh, I was looking at a TV monitor which had recorded the uh, original choreography that I did as mic. I was attempting to duplicate each of the movements so that they would look fairly coordinated. Finally, when you put it together, uh, this is what it looked like. And again, you can see the scene has uh, dark and light in, on the background, so you can tell uh, sort of a line in the center where the two emerge before we put the background on it. For those old enough to remember, this is sort of Lucy and Harpo Marx uh, when, uh, when Lucy was in Hollywood and thought she was looking into a mirror at her own reflection dressed as Harper Marx. We tried to duplicate some of that as a homage to, uh, to Lucy. So there you have it. That three minute scene took about four hours of studio production time and about six hours of editing time. So about 10 hours to produce those three minutes. We hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed producing it for you. Well, yeah, oh no! Now, Mr. Nastini, I have a little present for you. Eh, uh, for me? Yes. First, I aim the lens at the pie. Uh, yes. And then at your face. Ah! There! <laughs> that will teach you to meddle with my inventions. Yuck! Foiled again! <laughs> <laughs> what a day, I'll say. <laughs> what are you going to put in your journal today, Joey? I learned not to get in the way of Mr. Ooth's inventions. Oh, what do you mean? Well, you might get duplicated. That is correct. Uh, oh, no! Oh, say goodbye, Joey. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for being our friend. Uh, and remember, boys and girls, the real magic is in you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Goodbye. Uh, oh.